Ken Hackathorn here. I've got a skill drill for you folks. This one's called the BFM drill, and it's somewhat modified to what I call a single target BFM. Normally it's done on three, but for simplicity purposes, um, we're gonna do it on one target, and I'll explain that. The BFM drill is the build drill, the fast drill, and the Mozambique drill all combined. Bill Drill, as you know, famous from Bill Wilson, seven yards, draw and fire, six shots. Originally, the goal was to be able to draw and fire six shots and keep them in the A zone of a USPSA target in three seconds or less. That was the original goal. Uh, the fast drill is a drill where you start with only two rounds in your pistol. You draw and fire two shots in the head at seven meters. The gun's empty, emergency reload, four shots in the center of the chest. And again, that drill's ideally executed somewhere in a five to seven, five to seven second window. Uh, realistically, most people kind of start off more in a seven, eight or nine second. Your goal is to get down in say the six second range. And the last one's the Mozambique drill. Been around for a long time, as you know, it's called the failure drill. Fire two rounds to the chest, nothing happens, you come up and fire one shot to the head. Well, for the sequence to be somewhat challenging and more logical here, you, I reverse the sequence, one to the head, two to the body. And the way it works, I'm gonna use it for concealment. You don't have to, but let me th think about it. If you carry a gun concealed, that's the reason you have a firearm, you should practice from concealment and the way you really carry the gun. Start facing your target at seven meters. My gun's loaded with only eight rounds. So you guys with the world's finest close quarters combat weapon, a 1911 45 caliber pistol are good to go. I draw one, two, three, four, five, six to the chest. I come up two rounds to the head, the gun's at slide lock. I execute an emergency reload, moving parts back in battery, one, two, three, four to the chest. Then back up one headshot, back down the body, two body shots. A total of 15 rounds. Now in my case, I've got to execute a concealed draw. You gotta have good presentation. You gotta have a good emergency reload. Remember, lots of that emergency reload thing is about getting your pistol up in front of your workspace. If your gun's out here or down here, it takes longer, and you're certainly not what's aware of what's going on in your threat zone. So get the pistol up in your workspace. Remember, workspace defined as this distance. Get it up here, execute your reload, moving parts forward. Don't care how you get to slide back in battery, but do whatever you need to do. Get it back on target and continue. We're gonna give it a try here. See what you think. It's a good drill to practice. I'm doing it at seven meters. If you're one of these people that's struggling, move up to five or six. And once you've got it there, then back up and continue until you get back to seven meters where you can perform it. Let's give it a try. All right, that's the drill. By the way, if you notice, I was using my Wilson Combat Hackathorn Special Lightweight Commander 9mm. Real sweetheart. Let's talk about how this is scored. It's actually pretty straightforward. You're firing 15 rounds. If you shoot your, take your time, whatever it was, let's say in my case, the time was 10.9. Every point I drop on the target adds one second to my time. So when your final time is anywhere between 17 and 20 seconds, you shot a D. If you're over 20 seconds, you failed, you got an F. If you're 14 to 17, you got a C. If you're 11 to 14, you're a B student. If you're under 11 seconds, you're an A plus student. Trust me, if you can do it under 10, you're doing great. If you say to yourself, boy, I'm really struggling, remember, move up a little bit and then work your way back when you can get the performance you want. It's actually pretty straightforward. You gotta put a lot of stuff together and it combines a lot of things. Concealed draw, multiple shots, head shots, emergency reload. A lot of things going on there that you have to execute. But again, remember, if couple takeaways. 
One of which is, of course, when the reload comes. Get it in your workspace. More important, and most people even begin to realize that I see this all the time, you've got to have your finger up the front of the magazine in order to guide it into the pistol. It makes it real easy. If you pull your magazine out like this and try to put it in, you're behind the power curve. Don't do that. Learn to use your finger as an index to guide it in. Get the gun in your workspace. Now, how you release the slide, your business, remember the fast one is always going to be, when you, as soon as you seat that magazine, when that magazine seats in the pistol, your thumb is right by the slide release on a 1911. That's the fastest way to get the gun back in battery. But if you want to do a power stroke or a slingshot or whatever, that's your call. But make sure you can do it successfully. And remember, as soon as the gun's loaded, you want it right back on target. By the way, snatching the trigger will give you a negative result. If you don't press it straight to the rear, I guarantee you it's not going to be very pretty. Take it to the range, try it, see where you're at. And remember, Wilson Combat YouTube videos. Subscribe now. A lot of good stuff is coming your way. Hackathorn out.